LG just download boost mobile user HD here and today I'm gonna be doing something very interesting guys this is a video about the LG Volt 3 oh, let me just make sure I'm recording here yes I am okay sorry about that I just wanna make sure that I'm recording this is like, this is like my 10th time trying to get this video uh, recorded here so as you guys, so like I said, I'm doing a video on, on the LG Volt 3 here, LS 755 for Sprint here, whatever. Uh, so that's the frame right there. To me, it looks like the LG X Power in my opinion. Um, yeah, uh, this is interesting. Um, so uh, as you guys see right there, rumored specifications for Sprint. Also known as LG LS 755 Sprint LG Volt 3. Um, you see right here. Official announced September 2016 expected announcement coming soon device color gray price coming soon 80 ratings And here are the specs on the Volt 3 SIM card. Yes GSM CDMA Sprint carrier LTE Android Android 6.8 must mode LG's Optimus UX5 on there Quad core processor 16 gigabytes of memory 1.5 gigabytes of RAM 32 gigabytes of memory on the uh, SD card slot. Um, the firmware is 136 grams. The sensor is this proximity sensor, accelerometer, ambient light, torch light, which means that it has a flashlight probably. Uh, volume and power keys on the, uh, the uh, left and right side. Uh, device security, device power unlock, device. Uh, device password lock, device pattern lock, slide lock, pen code lock, not code, IPS LCD display, that's the uh, display type, uh, it's a, it has a 720p display, a 294 PPI, and it's a 5 inch display, okay, 5 inches here, multi touch of course, uh, phone book on the blah blah blah, cameras 8 megapixels on the back, camera flash, yes, 5 megapixel cameras on the front, um, Camera flash on the front, no geotagging, yes. HD video, 1080p HD, 3G, 3G video call, yes. Cameras in, visual zoom, TV output, no. Video quality, 1080p HD at 30 frames per second. Panorama, yes. Camera features, autofocus, voice capture, face beauty, HDR, scene modes, smile detection, face detection, soft timer, touch focus, just a shot. Loudspeaker, yes, 3.5. Headphone jack, yes. FM radio, yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, let me make sure I'm recording here. I, ho I hope I'm still recording. Sorry about this, guys. I just want to make sure that I'm, I'm recording this. This is, this is just like my 10th time trying to do this video for y'all. And this is very interesting, guys, okay? Uh, Bird was a data connectivity. You got EVD, EVDO, uh, uh, LTE, Google Chrome browser, HTML5, HTML5. Wi Fi 8211 BGN Hotspot Google Maps uh, Bluetooth 4.0 Micro USB 2.0 NFC No, uh, that's one thing I hate about the uh, Volt 2, it didn't have no NFC on it. The Volt 1 was the best Volt phone that's ever gonna come out, in my opinion. The Volt 1 was a fucking uh, was a fucking beast on features and shit like that. The Volt 1 had a 3000 million battery. Uh, NFC, IR Blast, and, and all that shit. The Vault 2 don't have that. The Vault 2 was a disappointment, man. The Vault 3 is a, is, a, is, a, is a disappointment as well. But the Vault 3 has 16 gigabytes of memory, while the Vault 1 and the Vault 2 has 8 gigabytes of memory, okay? So the Vault 3 has more memory than the, than, than the first two Volts. So that's good. Uh... So you can't do Android Pay on this phone. You won't be able to do it on the Tribute HD either. Uh, office tool support, document viewer, inbuilt apps, calculator, notes to do list, Google Maps, Sprint apps, messaging, SMS, MMS, email, push mail, IM Hangouts, battery, lithium iron, quick charge, no, wireless charge, no. Other features, social network services and apps, battery saver mode, Sprint wireless services. Voice search, curved edges, box, not released yet. So that's the Volt 3 right there. 
I can't I can't show you guys pictures because it only has one picture. So if I do the three sixty view, I'll show you guys the three sixty view here. I think I'm still recording, which hopefully I am. I am I am really sorry about this guy. I just wanna keep I'm gonna just keep checking see if I'm still recording this video. I'm really sorry about that. I'm I'm not trying to, you know, whatever, but there's a front of the phone. Just give this shit the load here. <sighs> Let me zoom back out for that. And hope this thing will load here. So that so you y'all gotta see the front of the frame right there. You got your power button on the right, volume keys on the left. Um you had it. LG Optimus UX5 on there. New app drawer on the phone right there. Um, I'm gonna try to show you guys a 360 view, but it's look. I can't no no 360 view on this one. It says sorry, not exist. We will update 360 view soon for this device. So no 360 no 360 view is available on this phone. So there's a proof right there. All right, I'm gonna show you guys comparisons of the. Look, LG Vault 755, LG 755, watch the goody, uh, goody, um, LG here. <clears throat> Just get this thing at the load here. Because once this thing loads, it will show, it'll show the model number LS 755. Just get this thing at the load here. Because I don't know if the LG X Power. If the LG X Power, if the LG X Power was gonna be called the LG Wall Three, aka LG Tribute HD for Virgin Mobile, um, I do think that the Virgin Mobile will get the Volt Three, but I think they'll think of it as the uh Tribute HD probably, I guess. Um, I put a link to my video there on 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 the Tribute HD for Virgin Mobile. I put a video to that so you guys so you guys can check it out. But since that video, uh, Virgin Mobile has taken down the Tribute HD's device support page, that's so not there anymore. If you got, if you guys go to that video and click on that link, it'll just take you to the to the device support pages for the phones for Virgin Mobile. Um. So yeah. Uh, there's the phone right there, LGX Power right here. Same UI and everything else. It it looks the same, but the LG X Power is a bit bigger. I'm just hoping this thing will load up. Anything else loaded up down here? There's some pixels down there. On the... Sorry about this, guys. Just get a second. My data is slow right now. Um. So if you, once this thing will show up, we'll have the model number on top of the phone. It'll say LG. Look at that, look at that right there. LG X Power Boost Mobile, LS755. So, was the LG X Power going to be called the LG Vault 3? Maybe. So, there's proof of right there on, on the LG's website. So, you guys, comparisons of the two phones now. Let me see the recording here. Um. So you got so you y'all gotta see the two phones side by side. Um yeah the uh X power is a bit, bit bigger. Um they kinda look the same. You gotta you gotta see the cameras are kinda in the same place. Uh, the volume keys on the left and the power buttons on the right. Let me zoom back in for the specs. Let me see, I'm still recording, okay? Give me a second. Alright, sorry about that, guys. I don't want to make sound. I'm still recording. Sorry about that, okay? Let me my battery again. Alright, it's at 3%. Just really sorry about that. Alright. So here are the specs side by side on the LG Volt 3 and the LG X Power. The X Power that I uh, have up here is not the Boost Mobile version. It's the 
unlocked the LGX pattern, so the specs might be a little bit different. So just keep that in mind. Um, so you guys can see right here the ratings. Uh, the X pattern has a better rating. Uh, price is coming soon, but the LG X pattern on crack is 99 bucks. The LG X pattern on boost is 129. Those were launch prices, so yeah. Uh, Phil Show will announce in September for the Vault 3 expected announcement. The first announcement, official announcement for the X Power was May 2016, released July 2016. Market is available. It got released to uh, Cricket in August and it got released to Boost Mobile like a couple weeks ago. So, um, yeah. Um, it's available in black and white for the uh, X Power and the Vault 3 has a gray color finish to it. Red Time supports SIM cards. Uh, the X Power on this one supports CSM. It also supports CDMA as well. Sprint also has the LG X Power as well. All right. Uh, LTE on both. Android 6.0. Uh, Quad Core processor on the Volt 3. Probably Snapdragon on the X Power. It, it has two different chipsets a MediaTek Octa Core processor and Qualcomm Snapdragon 210 Quad Core. Um, the Cricut version has a 1.2 GHz quad core processor, and the Beast Mobile version and Sprint versions have 1.8 GHz octa core uh, GPUs. There, uh, they both have 16 gigabytes of memory. Uh, the uh, the Volt 3 has 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. The X Power has 2 gigabytes of RAM for Sprint and Boost, 1.5 gigabytes for Cricut. Memory card, SD card. The Volt 3 gives up. Uh, the Volt 3 gives up to uh, 32 gig, and the X Pro gives up to two terabytes. Uh, the uh, Volt 3 weighs 136 grams. Uh, the uh, X Pro weighs 139 grams. Uh, sensors on the Volt 3 proximity sensor, accelerometer. Ambient light sensors on the X power pack center sensor accelerometer compass ambient light G sensor torch light on both yes dedication keys on the Volt 3 power and volume dedication keys on the X power volume power dual standby switch key if you had the dual sound version device security on both is the same thing device power with device password lock device pattern lock slide lock power pen code lock not code they both have IPS LCD touchscreens display uh, both of them has both of them has 720p displays the Volt 3 has a 5 inch display and the X Power has a 5.3 inch display uh, the Volt 3 has a 294 PPI and the X Power has a 277 PPI layer it's voice recognition, yes, phone unlimited, dead storage there, uh, camera, the Vault 3 has 8, me eight, eight megapixels, the X Power has 8 or 13 megapixels, um, camera flash on both, front facing camera on both are 5 megapixels, the Vault 3 don't, don't have a camera flash, the X Power has a screen flash, both of them have video checking, both of them have HC video. Bedtime have 3G or voice call, 3G or video call. Bedtime have camera and digital zoom. The Volt 3 don't have TV output. The, the X Power has TV output, wireless connection. Both video quality 1080p HC at 30 frames per second. Panorama on, yeah, panorama on both. The camera features on the Volt 3 are autofocus, voice capture, face beauty, HDR, scene modes. Smile detects and face detects and self timer, touch focus, gesture shot. The camera pages on the LG X Power are autofocus, voice caption, face beauty, burst mode, HDR, smile detects and face detects and self timer, touch focus, gesture shot, tap and shoot, manual mode. Um, speakers, yes. Supports the uh, format set for audio and video. 
3.5 millimeter headphone jack on both. Yes. FM radio. Yes. Um, so they support E D E D E D E D B O. The Vault, I mean, the Vault 3 supports E D B D O. L T E. The data speeds on the X Power supports L T E 50 me me megabits per second. L T E category 4, 150 megabits per second download. <clears throat> uh, Google Chrome browser on both. HTML5 browser. 8211. BGN hotspot, yes, Google Maps, Bluetooth 4.0 on the Volt 3, Bluetooth 4.2 on the X Power, micro USB 2.0 on both devices, uh, NFC on the X Power, and no NFC on the Volt 3. Uh, I don't know if this Blue Small version has the NFC. I think the I think the and I think the and I think the international versions. Of the X Power does have the NFC, and I think they I don't think that the Sprint version, Cracker, or Beast Mode versions have the NFC, but I'm not really sure. Uh, you got Office Tool Support on the Vault 3 Document Viewer on the X Power Document Editor, and built in apps on the Vault 3 Calendar, Notes, To Do List, Google Maps, Sprint Apps, built in apps on the LG X Power Calendar, Notes, To Do List, Google Maps. LG apps, quick memo. Uh, messages, SMS, MMS, email, pushman, I am hangouts on both. Uh, the batteries are not, are not specific on the Volt 3. It's lithium ion, quick charge now, virus charging now. On the X Power has a 4100 man battery. It's embedded inside the phone. Quick charge, yes, wireless charging now. Type time 380 hours. I mean, standby time 380 hours. Talk time 18 hours. Music playback up to 60 hours. Video playback 10 hours. Other features. Um, the Vault 3 has social networking services and apps. Better saver mode, sprint wireless services, voice search, crib edges. On the X Power has dual sound, rounded edges, texture pattern, design back cover, polychromic. Body design, thin metal coating facades, multi language voice search. Box and can box don't contain nothing on the Vault 3 because the Vault 3 is not yet released. But I think this is the, is the international version of the LGX Power. And what you get is the LGX Power phone. The battery is embedded inside the phone. You get the charger, data cable, 3.5 headset, user guide, warranty card. So this is the uh, comparison of the phones, guys, right here. Um. So I don't know if the LG X Power were was going is was supposed to be called the LG Vault Three on Boost Mobile or AKA LG Tribute HD on Virgin Mobile. Um. So this is very interesting, guys, because one of because one of my subscribers said that that when he checked his account because he, he was having problems with his uh, uh, account or whatever. He checked it and said that uh, Boost Mobile LG Vault 3. Y'all guys, guys can go check out that video here on YouTube. Shout out to, shout out to TDF from a lower angel. Check out his video there. It's a 22 minute video. It's a 22 minute video. And I suggest that you guys watch the whole thing, right? Because he will show you. Because he took a picture of, of it on his on his Galaxy J7, I think it was. And he showed it and, and he showed it in the video. And it says on his account, Boost Mobile LG Vault 3. It's right there in the video. Watch the whole thing, so you guys will see it. Um, so this is very interesting. Was the LG X Power supposed to be called the LG Vault 3, aka LG Tribute HD? I would like to know your opinion. Um, but I do think I do think that the Verge Mobile will get the Vault 3. I think they will get it as the Tribute HD. I think, but I could be wrong. Who knows? The Verge Mobile will, will get the Tribute HD. I don't know, because Verge Mobile has since taken down the Tribute HD's device support page. So this is very interesting, guys. I would like to know your thoughts about this, man. Um, this is very interesting. Yeah, this is very interesting. Interesting. That's all I could say about it. So I think that if you guys wanted it in LG Vault Three on Boost Mobile, the LG X Power is the phone that was supposed to be the LG Vault Three. I'm guessing. I don't know. But because these both phones have the same model numbers, the LG LS755. Alright. So, you guys, again, 
LG Ball 3, 755. LG X Power, LG LS755 right there. It says it right there in the uh, thing there. So that's interesting. But I do think the version number will get the Vault 3 and name it to Tribute HD, I guess. I don't know. Who knows? But I just figured I'd share it with you guys this because this, this is very interesting. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. Because what I thought was, I, cause I, th I saw a video on, like, ooh, uh, I saw an LG Vault 3 on Boost Mobile. I was like, oh shit, Boost Mobile got a new phone. I was like, oh shit. So let me go check it out. So I checked Boost Mobile's website. Not there. I checked out Beast Mobile's phone. I checked Beast Mobile's uh, device, support per support device support page. Not there. I'm like, what the fuck? So I googled LG Vault 3, and sure enough, I showed up Sprint L Sprint Vault 3 here. So this is interesting. So uh, that's part of my tip, guys. Let me make sure I'm still recording this goddamn video. So uh, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. Uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Make sure those are in the description box video. Please, very kind of subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.